uh, hi everyone so in this video we will talk about middlewares in nasjs and middleware in nasjs is same kind of middlewares which we have seen in express and what is the main responsibilities of middleware is to deal with the request before it is sending over to handler if you wanted to do some authentication check or wanted to do something with the request object you can play around it okay so what is the main task of a middleware execute any code make changes in the request body right and the request response cycle if uh, the condition is not met right if you are not sending authorization header i wanted to stop it here and send this request back to the user all those things can be done with this uh, middleware so if condition met you just call the next function otherwise you can just do response dot send status code not authorized or something right so this is what middlewares are doing and in nasjs also you can create a same kind of middleware so in the user module if you wanted to create a middleware i'll just create one test middleware okay middlewares are simple these are injectable services you have to implement a nest middleware okay and we are accessing you can see the request response and next function so here we will do some condition check if that condition is met call the next function otherwise you can return back from here directly using this response dot send status code with some text or something right if your particular condition is not met from the request object okay now applying this particular middleware you can see that it is also an injectable service so you can apply this particular middleware to your module directly or these middlewares can be also applied at a particular root module level but here if you are using this middleware then we can go to our user module and here we can write we can implement the the nest module i mean your module has to implement a nest module to so this is like you have to implement nest module and this is actually we are creating a consumer for the middleware you have created right so what it is doing and for routes i have a user routes users i wanted to apply this middleware there right it's very simple and easy it is being applied at module level and, and it is injectable service you can see this logger middleware and this is being applied to a particular controller and particular routes here also you can use a wild card okay i wanted to use for a particular method only uh here you can just specify method i think in this method it will be just an object in that case like uh, which particular path you are looking for so my path is users and the methods i'm looking for is request method dot post okay so this middleware is applied only to this particular route this is called a wild card otherwise you can also pass a particular controller so this can be applied to like user controller if you want user controller this is also fine it will be applied to all the routes which you have inside a user controller or you can also apply it in little better way like if you wanted to exclude include or you wanted to just define okay these are the only routes i wanted to apply then that can also be done and here we are writing consumer so i'm just using the, the same nasjs documentation to write this user controller so in this case what we are doing is i am applying this uh, for these particular methods from this controller okay path is this users then use this method okay if path is like something else then do that okay at a times if you wanted to ex exclude certain routes from having middleware applied we can easily exclude the routes using exclude command okay these will be excluded from that controller okay so this is just a middleware and what is the uses of middleware like uh, main usability we see is getting the request object just check the required entity is available in the request object then do the nest function otherwise log it back from there okay you are not allowed to go further so this is how you can apply okay you can also apply a multiple middlewares like this is 
same kind of feature which we had in express right uh, consumer dot apply so here i applied one module here you can also apply chorus middleware cross or cross origin support you have to just Albert module so you have to just import these things and then we have this logger module maybe okay so you can just import these libraries these are not available so this is how you can apply the middlewares multiple middlewares can be chained into one another right same thing uh, is available here if you wanted to apply middleware at the the global level right so like in app.module.ts sorry in the main.ts if you wanted to apply some global level then you can see this app.use function right what argument it is going to take it takes a argument in an array and here you can also pass your middleware like if you have a logger middleware or something then you can pass it okay so you can see this is also a kind of uh, middleware service okay if you want to bind a middleware to every registered route once right so you, you can declare it globally here okay so this is how we create a middleware and register that to a particular controllers or a, either at the root module level 